Derek, it's uh, your first test of the summer here at Lords and your first test as a chief executive of the MCC. How much are you looking forward to the day? Oh, it's, uh, it's a great feeling to wake up in the morning of the, of the first test of the summer, really, and, and for the fact that it's here at Lords and, yeah, it's personally, it's the first test, test I'll have run here, uh, makes it that extra bit special. I think talking to a number of the staff this morning, there is that uh, palpable sense of anticipation and with the weather set fair and uh, big crowds forecast, we're really looking forward to it. And uh, how's the pitch looking this morning? Well, I'm always careful about uh, commenting on, on the pitch because that's Mick Hunt's uh, domain. Uh, what I can say is that uh, he and his team have worked phenomenal hours over the course of the last uh, week or ten days because the weather conditions, as we all know, have been absolutely appalling in the run-up to this test match. And I'm sure he'll produce the best, uh, best pitch possible. Uh, it looks pretty good to my untrained eye and we'll see how it plays. Fantastic. And, um here you've been meeting some of the members this morning as they come in. Yeah. Well, what, one of the great legacies that um, Keith Bradshaw left was that openness with, with members and some, some of his ideas like the uh, bell ringers before the start of play and also going out to talk to the members first thing in the morning. And of course, we sometimes um, forget amid all the talk of strategies and master planning that actually we're a members club and we're a cricket club. So I had a really enjoyable hour or so at six this morning talking to the members outside. Uh, met the guy, Graham Carter, who actually proposed me as an MCC member 36 years ago, a long time ago. So great, great to touch base and, uh, and I'll be doing that throughout the game. So we're expecting very healthy crowds here for throughout the whole test. Uh, what do you think that is? I think there's something about um, England West Indies test matches, there's something about West Indian cricket as a, as a great history. Uh, they've got some very exciting players, they're an inexperienced side. Uh, but for example, at Nottinghamshire last year when I was there as Chief Executive, we had uh, Darren Bravo. Uh, he looked a really, really, really good player and uh, a lot of people like him in the side, so uh, I think it's, it's a very exciting prospect.